Hello everyone, I am Deacon Orvin Christopher George from the Diocese of Belgaum. I am very glad to share my occasion story with you. To begin my occasion story, I would like to go back to my childhood days from wherein my dream of becoming priest originated. It all began with an inspiration, a desire which was indeed filled with much passion and dream. The real cause behind this inspiration was my parish priest, who was a very dynamic and vibrant priest. He used to celebrate Holy Mass very lively with singing and a devoutful manner. A glimpse about my family, who were also the pioneer for me to join the priesthood. We were four of us, my mom, dad and my younger brother. I was the elder one in my family. Before joining the seminary, to say frankly, my house itself was like a mini formation house. Two things were very common at my house, going to church for the daily mass and rosary in the evening. My mom and dad were very strict regarding the spiritual activities, be it at church or at home. My dad was active member in my parish. He was a PPC member too. He was a good musician, he used to play keyboard for the mass. As a young boy, I used to go for mass every day. As an altar server, I used to serve in the mass during this time. I used to keenly observe the liturgy in the mass, the priest celebrating the mass, lively singing and serving the mass. Every peculiar service in the mass used to get recorded in my mind very strongly. It was so much to the extent after coming to my home from the mass, I used to demonstrate before my family members exactly how my parish priest was celebrating the Holy Mass devoutfully with singing. These all aspects developed in me a kind of desire to become priest one day and serve in the altar. Soon after completion of my 10th standard, I expressed my desire of becoming priest to my parents. Initially it was a little tough to convince them, but later However, they agreed for my petition. However, as per the procedure, I had to meet Bishop for their interview before joining the seminary. So I went with my dad to meet Bishop. As I entered the Bishop's room, I was very shy and nervous to meet the Bishop. It was Most Reverend Dr. Peter Machado was then Bishop. But he cooled me by asking a simple question. If you join this seminary, who will look after your parents? So I couldn't answer his question that time. But later, he answered it. If you join the seminary, God will take care of your family. This statement of Bishop really shook me very much and it encouraged me more to join the seminary. With this background, I joined the seminary. Having a desire and passion is really an appreciable thing but to sustain the dream and passion is really a challenging task to, to do for anyone. After joining the seminary, I had to cope up with many trials, especially homesick with the community environment of the seminary, food, etc. Through the grace of God, I could succeed in those areas and I advanced ahead in my vocation. When I was in the culmination of my third year philosophy, I lost my dad. It was indeed a great, disastrous and shocking moment in my family and for me. I had to take a firm decision whether to continue in my vocation or not. It was then I remember the bishop's statement. God will take care of your family. Likewise, God took care of my vocation, helped me in my difficult situations. Philosophy and theological studies truly helped me to grow more spiritually, psychologically, to adhere well in my priestly formation. I did my regency at Shikang, Holy Trinity Mission, and presently I am doing my diagnet ministry at St. Michael's Minor Seminary, Mache, Belkam. Every stage of formation is an experience and learning. As it is very rightly expressed in the degree of a priestly formation of a Vatican document, Optatum Tortius number 2. Fostering priestly occasion is the responsibility of the entire Christian community, that is family, 
parish, Catholic schools, and very especially priests themselves. So I firmly believe this statement very truly in my life when I compare my vocation. It's only their support, guidance, and encouragement which helped me to sustain in my vocation. This is my vocation story. Thank you for your patient listening.